Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we'll be taking a look at 3D LUT Creator versus Nob Color Remap versus the built-in uh, curves inside of Resolve. And we're going to see the similarities and differences between the three things, how they all basically do sort of the same thing, but just in different ways. So here we have this clip that already has a primary on it. This is one of those magical clips that's really easy to get looking okay, but pretty hard to get looking great. So we've got this, and we're going to try and use some curves before we do any secondaries. So first, we'll start with the DaVinci Resolve curves. So here we want to brighten up her skin some. So we'll go to our Hue versus Luminance, and we'll pick her skin. And we'll raise this up, and that looks pretty bad. So we'll bring these out some. And this isn't amazing footage, but it's not bad footage. So we should be able to do something with this. But this is just, you know, not really looking particularly great. So we'll say that's about the brightness that we want, even though it definitely is not. But you know that's about all we can do with these guys. Maybe if we move this around some, try to find a different place, but I just don't think we're gonna get particularly far with these. Yeah, nothing's particularly nice looking there. So we'll say, you know, that's basically a bust. We'll keep this here just for comparison. And then we'll say our client comes and says, that's great, this is all green, but we really want this to look like it is done in the fall. So we'll go over to our Hue versus Hue tab and we'll pick our tree colors and we'll start to change these around and we'll widen this out some. And now this one's looking pretty fine. Our Hue versus Hue are working pretty good. So we'll get that, you know, fallish, maybe about there-ish. So that's you know, a pretty reasonable thing of what you can expect to do with the built-in controls with Resolve without having to do too, too much. Now, obviously, these are all right here. They're included with the software in every version. They're pretty quick to get to and all that. But now let's go the next step up. Hit Control-Y, create a new version. I will go ahead and reset this node. And now we'll go to our Nob Color Remap plugin. So this is a great plugin. You can use the promo code Theo at their website and get some percentage off. And I get a kickback for that too, so... If you, you're into this, you know, go ahead and do it. There's also a free trial, so you know, there's just no excuse to not go and download the free trial. So we'll go ahead and drop this on, and now we'll do these same operations. So first start off with our luminosity adjustments, and we'll just click and we'll make your face a little brighter. And this already looks a lot nicer. We've got to refine some stuff because there's some sort of shadowy stuff here that's not super duper nice. So maybe we will reset this real quick, and we will turn off pin neutrals because I think that's what was causing the problem. Bring that up, and now this is looking pretty nice, and you can see also adjust the saturation here, so that that sort of helps out with our things a little bit there. See, under the eyes is still not the best, but see, that's that's already a much nicer result than with the DaVinci Resolve curves. And just as easy. It's still pretty nice and quick to just drag and drop uh, this OFX plugin on there, and we can go ahead and do the same sort of thing with our nature back here. And hop over to our hue versus hue slash saturation, hue versus hue versus saturation. And we can go ahead and click in. Oop, I clicked on the wrong spot there. And drag this around. So now we're getting sort of what we want. Let's go. Try a little nicer one. There we go. So now that, if we control, you can see the Nob Color Remap does a much better job probably even faster because we didn't have to adjust as much stuff, especially with the luminance in our skin there. It's just so much better. And it's still pretty quick. You know, you have to pay for the plugin. But if you're someone who, you know, that makes sense for, go ahead and do it. If you're not, don't. I mean, still download the, three, the free version just because it's fun to play around with. And then maybe one day you'll get a project and be like, boy, I could really use this. I actually used this on a project not long ago to match two very different skin tones, and it made that much easier. So we've got that going. And now, I mean, there's some little goofiness up here that we could probably fix if we really played around with it some. But, you know, I'm pretty happy with this as for, you know, a little comparison. Now, the final thing we're going to look at is 3D LUT Creator, which is just a ridiculous piece of software that is super duper powerful. But it, it sort of has some little quirks and stuff, which make it charming and powerful, but also just a little bit weird. So this is the thing that I use sort of the least. I'm sort of going down the order of how I would try things normally. I would probably skip the luminance versus hue curve just because that always looks bad in Resolve. They've made it better, but it's still nowhere near as good as Nob Color Remap or 3D Luck Creator. Let's go ahead and drop this on. Uh, there's also an affiliate link for this down in the description below. So if you want to check this out, click through that. And I get a kickback also, which is also great. One of the benefits of making YouTube videos is free software. So 
we've got this, and now we'll go ahead and open 3D Look Creator. Now this will bump us over here, and I've got this looking nice, and you see we've got our familiar AB grid here, and we'll go ahead and start with our luminance again. So we'll go ahead and click on the skin, and raise it up. You see this is doing an even nicer job, in my opinion, the Nob just right out of the box, because it doesn't sort of pin the points down as much. And you can, of course, get similar results in Nob, it just requires a little more work, and doing work is too much work. So there you go, that is looking pretty nice, I think. We also have all these other great things. So this control is also in no, but we'll play around with these a little more uh, at the end of the tutorial. We can really get crazy, but just sort of comparing these these workhorse functions that all three of these have in common. So we'll go to our AB and we will bring these around to get our fall colors again. You see it's just doing a really nice smooth job. These transitions are a little bit smoother, I think, even just because the color science in here is so smart. Probably bring this around too. So now that's looking pretty cool. And hit apply. You see that didn't take too long. And now we've got this. And I think you know this is the best looking of the bunch. So hit control N. So this is our first version. Yuck. Here's Nob. That looks pretty nice. And then 3D Luck Creator. Especially see these luminance adjustments are really, really where it sings. And like I said, if we tweak around, you know, changing the luminance, we could tweak this around some. You see we've got you know, a little bit um, sharper angles here so we can sort of start to smooth these out and we can click and drag stuff on our own. You can see that's nicening things out a nice little bit. And we also have this nice function over here to smooth the points. There you go, and that sort of evens things out. So now you can see that looks a lot nicer than before. And we can, of course, maybe just make this whole thing like that. No, it's not really helping out. Bring this up even more. Really brighten things up. I like sort of overly bright skin. But there we go. We've got that rocking and rolling. And now if we go and we switch through again, so you can see still very different looks. I still think I prefer the 3D Luck Creator one the most. You can see where we came from, where we got. Looking pretty nice. The only problem with 3D Luck Creator is, you know, it's that little bit slow. But once you load it in, it is just loading a lot. So it is pretty quick to process, which is very nice. So that's the bulk of the tutorial. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't get a dislike, no matter what, leave it in the comments below. You can stay for after the credits where we're going to sort of play around in Nob and 3D Luck Creator and go over a few little other features. But, you know, this, it's cool to put commercials in the middle. So check out mistymedia.com slash products where we've got all sorts of lots and other good stuff. And also check out these plugins where there are links in the description below. All right, now, continuing forward, let's go ahead and open 3D Luck Creator. Let's see what else we might want to do to this. So we've got this rocking and rolling, but what if we want a little more color variance in our foliage? Well, this amazing thing is we've got this double button, and now we've got our highlights and our shadows. So you can see that now we have this sort of color contrast going on in our leaves up here. And we can also adjust where they blend together. So we've got those going there, and now we can give it sort of this interesting filmy vibe. We can just desaturate them. We can move them like towards pinky red. So I think, so just getting this little bit of color variance in there is cool, this sort of purpley look and we can adjust these. So this is, you know, just really nice and amazing to be able to do. And we'll go back to our CNL, we can you know, maybe pin this guy and we can saturate up our yellows a little bit more and brighten them up some. That's a little bit oompa loompa -y, so we'll go ahead and increase some contrast here. And we'll get even some of this going. We'll pull this around. There we go. So this is sort of affecting our dress. We can make it brighter or darker. So I think... You know, as we play around with this, and it's all really nice and responsive, which is good. So you know, something like there is looking pretty nice. And now we have this very sort of vibey shot that looks a lot more expensive than before. And whenever I actually did this video, I just had so much trouble getting a good look at that. And this was a long time ago before I had all these amazing plugins. So then, of course, we also have some other stuff. So we've got these channels controls, which are amazing. So we have these same sort of things in Resolve. They're just less intuitive i think so you see as we pull this up we're getting a lot more life in our skin so maybe that's a little bit bloopy we can bring that back bring this around 
And maybe we can affect our yellows or yeah, our blues and yellows and bring these in so that it's a little more natural looking. So that sort of evens out a little less saturated, a little bit more like it's actually fall outside, which is very nice. And then we can go over to our volume and this does a similar sort of thing. So this will change around the luminance versus the color, I believe. So as we twist this around, you can see we're changing over the overall vibes. You can see light and happy vibe, sort of a dark vibe. This is another great tool. So I think playing around with this is getting things a little bit overgraded for me. And we'll back these channels off some too a little bit. There, we've got some skin going. There we go. Then also we have these nice mask controls built in. So if we wanted to, for some reason, affect our skin less, we can pull that out. Or maybe we want to affect our shadows less, which is probably more of what we want to do. Start to pull that out. I don't really like the way that's looking. So we can go to any of these other channels. So let's do like RGB distance. And now you see we can do completely different masking. This is like a whole tutorial on itself. We also have these 2D curves, which I never really use, but are very cool. If we pull this in, you can see all sorts of stuff. And then we also have normal curves. But along with these, we have CMYK versions which I love CMYK curves. So we can adjust our yellow here, bring a lot more in or not. We'll go ahead and reset these because I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. It's nice and filmy. I'll go ahead and apply that. And nice. So now it sort of pops a little bit. It's a pretty nice looking little thing. We've got purples in the background to sort of liven things up some. There might be a little bit of noise back in this correction. Yeah, down here. So we sort of push things a little too far, but we can always undo that. So now we'll hop back to our Nob and we can see what we can do here. So you can see we don't have the option to split this up into a high and low component, which is too bad, but you could always just, just put two of these in a layer mixer and have you know your own blending options in there. So you can make that yourself if you have this. And we've got these same things over here, but you're sort of not probably going to do anything more with this. We might see if we can get even a little bit brighter here. And I think part of the problem with this is the colors that it has selected already are a little more red than skin. So we can adjust our, there it is, our hue angle. There we go. And now we're getting nicer things. Let's go ahead and reset this. And we'll just start over here. Pull this up and we'll pull these other ones up as well. I think we just goofed everything up. Let's go back to our original version. So just undo while. There you go. I think that's looking pretty nice. So anyway, there you go. There is the DaVinci Resolve Curves versus Nob Color Remap versus 3D Luck Creator. All sort of different levels of doing the same sort of stuff. So it just depends on you and what you're into. This was you know, pretty hard footage to move around, at least I think. It's not the hardest footage I've ever had to move around, but I remember having, you know, difficulties making this look good. And I did some weird stuff to make it look good, which we will not go into because it's pretty embarrassing. But anyway, once again, I hope you liked this video. If you like, give it a like. If you didn't get a dislike, uh, leave your comments down in the comments below. Which one do you use? Do you use any of them? Uh, also, remember, we've got referral links. You can use the code Theo for Nob Color Remap for some percentage off that I can't remember which is a, a darn good deal, I think. Also, be sure to subscribe to the Mixed Media YouTube channel for more stuff like this and stuff not like this. I have some plans for doing some, some weird tutorials that are going to get no views at all. So if you want to stick around for that and see what those are, check them out. Yeah, I think that's enough rambling. Once again, I'm with you with Mr. Media. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.